Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Florida Studio Gallery with a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I have pre-primed with Artist Loft white paint that has GAC 800 and gold, excuse me, GAC 800 and Floetrol in it. And I want to do nothing more than start a painting. I don't know where it's going to go. I did use some new purely pigments. I wish I had left the top someplace I knew where it was. Uh, anyway, so the new purely pigments I used were the um, Vibrant Aqua, five drops to one drop of the Azure Blue. And I did throw in some uh, primary elements, gold and diamonds. And it is from the new purely pigments. So I'm going to mix a whole bunch of turquoises. I'm going to put that someplace where it's safe. And I have not given myself the pleasure of using this Pebeo Iridescent Blue Green for a long time. And I want to see how it compares. Then I've got, I'm going to assume it's a prism pour, but I'm not sure. It's from Color Art. I'm a Color Art affiliate. This is called Bally High. What a gorgeous color that is. Then I've got something I need to find out if I've got more of so I can make up more mystique. It's a primary element and I'll be sad when it's gone. And it is kind of similar. Mystique's a little brighter. So I'm just going to keep using blues. And this is the Royal Sapphire, which is one of my all-time go-tos. And they're all just vaguely different. And just to throw some, a rogue element in there, I think this is the Cerulean Blue. Which is another color that I need to mix more of. And it's super strong, so it, it's in danger of taking over. I think I'm going to throw a little bit of Frostbite in. Just as an element to help motivate everything to mix together. I don't think it's going to stay light or bright for long. Put that belly high back someplace else. I've got other things too. I've got Neptune's Gaze. That's really green. Um, I think I'm good for now. I've got Sparkling Aqua though. No, I'm going to look at Sparkling Aqua. And then we're just going to use my spatula without that big chunk that's right under my finger as I hold it. I wanted to color block. I may go to something entirely different next. I thought about swiping. I don't necessarily need things to be totally even. I have no idea what I'm doing except for the fact <coughs> excuse me, that I would prefer not to have any canvas show through or lumps. So I'm going to run my spatula right down the edge. So it scrapes paint off on the edge so when I use the spatula lightly, with a light touch, it sort of pushes a little bead over. Now, because I don't care what I'm doing right now so much as I want to experiment, I've got some violet interference. And no matter what it does, it'll be beautiful. So I'm going to try it. I do want to mix it up. I don't want straight stripes. And I do love the way that the jasmine looks with the turquoise. It usually makes a beautiful blue. <coughs> I am sorry about having to clear my throat. 
I had a little tangle with something recently and it's, it hasn't 100% gone. That is Erzat's Periwinkle, which is a Vivid Intense. What else do I dare? Now I'm going to skip the Deep Amethyst for right now and use the Akai Berry. And with that, just like I used the Frostbite, I'm going to use some Frosted Berry. Except for it's not coming out very well. So I'll just have to be patient for a moment. Which is not my strong suit. I have more paint right there that needs to go into the painting. Just because I wanted to play. While things are still wet and blendable. Somewhat. Alright. I looked over and I saw the water lily and it captivated me. And it's a prison pour. The colors will be below the video. I am going to be so sad when that's gone. Ooh, I've got another color. And it is... It was Crimson Lust. And then I added the Holly Berry. And... It looks like some quinacridone red from the um, from the purely pigments. I think I'm going to have to actually scrape off my spatula someplace other than the canvas to get the rest of that residual off there. Trying to pick and choose where I put my marks. That's got to go. Whatever that is. I sort of want... i got to be careful. I can mix colors to a point and then and there's a point I don't... a line of demarcation I don't want to cross. And I'm being called to some orange. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. And I really don't want to lose any of that jasmine, but I think I see something in there that needs to go. Try not to put the thing I just pulled out back in either. Light touch. Almost drop that turquoise right in there. Now I have that turquoise the, the purely pigments. Hard to remember <laughs> for me because PP is usually prison poor. Which reminds me, you guys can look for the 20% off color at coupon code below the video in the description. I am being called to I was being called to blue velvet but I think I want to try a little bit the Midnight Shadow. And conveniently enough, it's right where it should be to do that. I didn't pull the orange out like I said I was going to, and I will still do that. I think I'm going to go right straight up some more jasmine. Actually, if I put a bead of it, or a little blob of it, then I can spread it out. Well, I thought I could. I need a little more than I gave myself. And I wish it would not plug up. I would really like it if it would not plug up.
and it doesn't matter if I left gaps it would be fine because I can always put more paint in gaps I definitely want some paint to go over the edge <coughs> Excuse me, please. I feel like stepping outside the room to clear my throat. I'm going to be careful not to put too much pressure on my spatula while I pull, th pull through. I do want to steal a little paint. I don't want it to be too much orange because it will definitely turn a color I won't like. <coughs> okay, so where's the blue velvet? That's a gorgeous color. And I just got attracted and pulled right into the indigo violet. But right now, I'm going to go with the frostbite. And maybe some of the cerulean blue too. Go with the indigo violet. Don't want to get too close yet. And I'm thinking that I've got the deep amethyst out and it's not a bad thing. Oh, is it open? It's not open, but I want it open. And I got it open. Wow. That was a small miracle, I want to tell you what. <laughs> Okay, so strangely enough, I just got called. Oh, I'm going to lose the top on my bottle. I'm going to get rid of that thread. Come on. Wow, it's not as open as I thought it was. That is Fandango. <coughs> please, please, please excuse me. I'm going to go for... A little more jasmine right here. Don't ask me why. Usually I'd want to leave some negative space, but I don't think that's what's happening this time. I will be a little careful about dribbling. Jasmine. I would like for this frosted berry to be a little more open, so I'm going to give it a moment. Hope I can get my tweezers are on my Amazon link. I recommend the sharpest ones you can lay your hands on. Excuse me while I open my bottle. I'm feeling the green. I think I want some right in here. Come on. Cooperate, please. Think When I think back on how old some of these bottles are, it's not a wonder to me that they keep things. There. Good top. That's what I got out. That's very satisfying, to tell you the truth. I'm 
I got a straw and I want to use it. I got fingers and I want to use them too. I'm hoping that I can actually get through this whole entire piece. I didn't do the green, did I? I said I would and then I didn't. I have a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. And number one is my favorite. I have beautiful colors and no reason to waste them. Not going to wipe paint off on anything, anywhere, anytime, if I can help it. And when I do, I usually try and use my silicone mat. <clears throat> okay, so most of my paint is gone, but I'm going to take the rest off just because. I'm going to go the opposite side. And then I'm going to go back and use my pink carnation. And some more orange. And a little bit of saffron. Which I think will help color cover. I'm thinking I've got my sour lemon that used to be, it used to have orange crush in it, and nowadays it has holly berry in it. I kind of prefer the old recipe, but I don't mind the new one that much. Another minute I can work, and I'm thinking about coming back and putting some turquoise in. Oh, looks like I have a hair in there. I wonder if I can find it. I got it. I'm so good. I'm going to take some of that, put it right here <coughs> while I still can. Just to add some interesting variations. When that timer goes off, I'm going to stop the camera and come back in a second. I'm going to steal some of that. That was quick. All right, I'll see you in a second. And then I'll figure out what to do. OCD moment, just had to fill that in. And I need to know what that is because I don't think it's something I want there. Nope, I got it out too. Maybe I'll be able to clear my throat while I'm gone and change my battery. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to make sure we're in focus, though. I can't zoom out. All right, I want a light color. I kind of want the yellow. I haven't used any Tuscan Sun. But now that I see it, I prefer to mix it with a little bit of shiny taffeta, which is not really coming out very well. That's because my bottles are all low and they all need to have something new mixed with them. 
I've been thinking about it and I've got some gold that I might want to use. I'm going to wipe off my spatula again. I could just have a fresh one if I threw this one in the bucket. What do I want to do with this? Something. Definitely something. Maybe go back again. Try some of the periwinkle and a little bit of jasmine. What will that be like? I like it. So if I put gold in, I should put it in after? Not 100% sure on that. I'm trying to get rid of some of that canvas. Pre-painted canvases that are dry are nice, nice, nice to be able to take the paint off of. Hopefully the paint has not completely dried on my Princeton Archul Catalyst spatula because I'd really like to be able to try something a little different. mark making. I don't know what any of this is signifying. It's just me having fun basically. And using up all my paint. Or most of my paint. Well, that was unintentional. But I got the color I wanted, so. Let's just scrape it up and see if there's someplace else I want to put it. All right, so what goes down here? I keep being called to. frosted berry, but I'm going to give myself an opportunity to mix the interference violet in because I have a bunch of that made. And then I have to decide, whew, what comes next. And I think I'm going to just give myself permission to do some of the purely pigments turquoise again. Which is, what did I say? Purely pigments, vivid aqua, azure blue, golden diamonds, all in a purely pigment formula. And I want some more of the blue velvet. Not a lot. I haven't figured out this last step yet. If in doubt, thinking about Jasmine as an answer. It looks like I'm creating some sort of scape. More orange, do I dare? More water lily. Not 
Not bad. I've got pink diamond and I used to use a lot of it and I haven't used anything close to what I'd like to. There's a little spot. Come on out. That's not what I intended. Oh well, never mind. I'm still thinking about the Pebeo Iridescent. Whoop, and I just squeezed it all over my finger. Clever girl. No idea why that happened. There's my cat visiting us. Same time, same station every day. I do like moving colors from my spatula onto the painting in a new spot, but it is a little risky. And if you put too much pressure on the spatula, you're going to dig down to canvas every time if it's a dry canvas. I still see something in here. Well, that was fun. That was good at ther therapy, and I wasn't sure. I'm still not sure what's going on. 100%. Jasmine. I want jasmine. I want to get some of the paint off of my spatula. I don't want to waste it. But it's getting a little gloppy, so I got to be careful. Cuz there's no taking no backs, no backsies. <laughs> definitely didn't mind that I had some other paint on the spatula because I like to change things up. <laughs> that was a nice stroke. <laughs> that wasn't a bad one either. like some of the paint to come off my spatula and fill in my gaps. No hairs allowed. There's a reason I wear a headband, but it doesn't seem to be working. Of course, the cat did get in my studio recently, so that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. You want to integrate the colors, you got to go back and forth. You got to actually make an effort, Priscilla. Talking to myself. Steal a little paint. Kind of liking the, the striations there. I'm liking all of this. I'm not 100% sure I'm done, but I had a really good time. Thank you for joining me. And it's definitely not beyond me to continue on using colors from another place. Or even textures at this rate. And I could. I could use textures. I'm being called. Are you indigo violet? No, it's midnight shadow. With a peeling label. I see that and it doesn't look right. It's not going to look any more right unless I use a clean spatula either. There we go. Better. Uh... 
I don't mind texture as long as it's not the texture of canvas. I am going to use the paint on my spatula. I still really want some gold in here and I didn't do that. That was convenient. I decided I didn't like the texture of the canvas along the edge of the canvas. And I've got paint on my spatula. Excuse you. Paint bottle in the way. Part of me wants to just squeeze bottle some stuff on. You could always run a spatula through. I really want some gold. Let me see what happens if I use some. Let's get a couple bottles out of the way before I run out of time. That spatula can go in the bucket. That can go in the bucket. I don't need this or this. I don't mind actually using <coughs> my silicone mat. And I'm only going to put one little bead down. Doesn't really show. Oh, I didn't. I didn't integrate the, uh, the midnight shadow. That's Decor Americana 24 karat gold. I'm trying to use a delicate touch with, whoop, a delicate drip with, I should say. But I like the contrast. And I'm always talking about doing it and never doing it, and now I'm doing it. I'm like, I should have added gold, and then I don't. Let's do a little more. Where else, where else, where else? I like this little dip in the canvas there. Usually that would bother me, but it's not bothering me right now. And I'm definitely liking doing all this. Such a light touch. There, I went down a canvas by accident. So I'll just put a little more gold in there. What is it with the little fuzzies tonight? And it is tonight. It's after five here now. I'm liking the added texture of the gold. The little shapes are fun. It'll be interesting tomorrow to see how it looks. It definitely add a little dimension. Let's do the cat hairs. Not really. Silicone's nice because I can just use the silicone spatula and the silicone mat and scrapes up perfectly. Do I want more? I kind of want a little more. I, I'm inclined to use some Chantilly lace, but there isn't a lot, and I'm not sure what it would actually do, and I don't think would it, whatever it would do would be better than what I'm doing now. Except for the paint just told me it's st too sticky. Be a good, perfect time to balloon roll. Yeah, I'm loving this, and I'm almost done. 
so I should tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, which is, I love you. You inspire me always. I hope you come again, and I post at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm not sure what what the deal is with this, but I don't think I care. I mean, it could be so much more than it is, but does it need to be? Not really. Let me grab my cell phone, and I can give a light. Anything that really bothers me. Thumbnails are a great tool. Last stitch effort. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't need to be there. Yay! Gotcha! Yes! Sneaky. Sneaky thing that don't, does not belong. I use the back end of my spat... Uh, yeah, my tweezers to bounce up and down. And there are it doesn't pick up a lot of paint, but it picks up just enough to fill in any little gaps. And this might be fun to put dots on, but I don't think so. I'm just really liking what I've got. I'm not even sure which side is up yet. I like it a couple of ways so far. It would be helpful if I didn't pull any more paint off. I really like it this way. So I'll give it a shot. Yeah, that's fun. It's sort of like a totally, um, totally surreal rainbow at the bottom there, I guess. I've got some paint. I might need, might need to borrow a little paint. Whoop, not that kind of borrow. Well, I'll throw a little bit of paint in there. That was the pink diamond. I don't feel like having a gap. Come out. I've got a moment, just about. What can I tell you? I can tell you I have 33 playlists with 100 videos on them each. And uh, I appreciate your thumbs up. The most important thing to the algorithm at YouTube is that you watch the video longer and that tells them that I'm worth keeping in the forefront. And that's not happening very often, but it's happening more as you watch more. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com if you'd like to inquire after taking a class with me privately one-on-one -on -one at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Or if you'd like to purchase an artwork, just use the hashtag in the title of any video that you find something that appeals to you and I'll let you know if it's got a reproduction capacity uh, at Spring or on the Gallerist or Society6 or Pixels.com, Fire Net America. All of those links you can find on my on my link tree, including my Amazon link where my two books are because I can in unlimited possibilities. The first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube. Um, my Patreons and my PayPal donators and my Members, especially my members, are keeping my channel alive. So thank you so much for being here. I love you guys dearly. I hope you come again. I think I said 2.50. No, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Questions are welcome and encouraged. Um, my community board is uh, accessible through my channel, basically. You can find it there if you've, if you've never looked for it. That's uh, where to find it. My paint pouring recipes below show more. And uh, whatever I'm forgetting, you'll see in another video. I love you guys. You inspire me always. Bye for now. Priscilla out.